My name is Thomas. I'm from Denmark and I have been working within football for many years. I've been in one of the best uh, youth talent development clubs in Denmark called FC Nordsjælland for four years working with the youth there. After some, uh, some good time there, I went to Ride to Dream Academy that is based in, uh, in Ghana, which is considered one of the best academies in the world. So I've been exposed to different talent uh, environments in Europe and in Africa. So I felt the need and the desire to mix those two cultures into something really special. My passion has always been more than football. My passion is to help children. Football is a machine as a tool that can help children. So I decided to leave Europe and Denmark to come to Africa and in this case Uganda to help our children. And we do this through education and football. I came to Uganda three and a half year ago. I was supposed to go to South America to set up the academy. But by coincidence, I came to uh, Uganda, to Masaka. And uh, I met with this partner of mine, a Ugandan guy, and we started up and established El Campio Academy here in Uganda. One and a half year ago, I had to split up with my former partner. We had so many disagreements that we couldn't work together anymore. So I had to leave everything behind that I've worked for for one and a half year. It was a very difficult period of my life, the worst, I would say, that I've ever experienced. After sprinting uh, the academy to another academy, everything was so terrible. Because uh, we thought that Thomas could easily go back and he had a dream for players in Uganda. So my worry was that we are going to miss his passion. I thought everything has stopped. Even I'm going to stop to be a coach. After speeding up, most of the players went back home and they started struggling to get food, to get education, and hence led some of the players to, to leave playing football and also not, not going back to school. Hi, my name is Godfrey. Uh, I was playing uh, soccer as a football player and uh, I lived in this exact place for five years. It was a big organization and uh, when uh, it's printed uh, out, uh, at first it was uh, a lot of tears in two eyes, uh, seeing uh, our friends uh, separating. We never knew what would happen, and uh, some of them uh, went and uh, play football, others uh, went home. So everybody uh, get, got his own way. Mm. As uh, the news came into uh, his mind that uh, we've broken up, so she was like a bit sad knowing that now what's next, what's the way forward. And uh, she was knowing that uh, maybe now she will no longer see Thomas back, but Thomas uh, came back and, uh, and uh, he was in position of uh, helping us again and uh, called me again to be part of the Lekambi. And that, uh, <coughs> washed uh, the bad memories from my mom. Uh, when uh, I told my mom that uh, I'm still again a part of El Cambio, that made uh, an excitement into his heart and mind. After the breakup, I had to come to the conclusion that I really want to set up a new academy. Because of a lot of help from Europe and here in Africa, we managed to do so. After like 10 months, we have established El Cambio once again.